Hello and welcome to yet another episode of One Take. This week we are asking the question: Will the Manipur issue be another Rafal moment for Rahul Gandhi? आपने मणिपुर में क्या सीन फेंकी और फिर चिंगारी लगा दी? We know there's something which is agitating Rahul Gandhi a lot over the last few weeks and months. It's been the Manipur issue. Whether it was inside Parliament, whether it's outside, whether it was at a press conference right over here at the Congress headquarters, his attack on the Prime Minister relentlessly has been over the Manipur issue. And therefore, the question I'm asking this week: Remember, in the last Lok Sabha elections, Rafal had become the big moment for the Congress party. So much so that the entire campaign of the party was actually Chokidar Chor Hai moment. Prime Minister of India is corrupt. देश का चौकीदार चोर है इट डिड नॉट वर्क सर्टनली द बीजेपी ट्राई टू ट्विस्ट इट इन देयर फेवर व्हिच दे डिड सक्सेसफुली इफ यू गो बाय द लोकसभा रिजल्ट्स आल्सो द हैशटैग चौकीदार चोर है वाज यूज्ड बाय द बीजेपी टू मेक द पॉइंट इन देयर फेवर दैट द चौकीदार इज द वन हु गार्ड्स द नेशन एंड देयरफॉर दे वेलकम दैट टैगलाइन आप आश्वस्त रहिए आपका ये चौकीदार पूरी तरह से चौकन्ना है This time round the Manipur issue in an earlier episode we discussed is something which could hurt the narrative of the BJP but will it that's another question which we are asking this week but our focus remains on Rahul Gandhi every election he needs an issue and why not a politician does require that card to use against a political opponent if there was this uh, corporate bonhomie is what the rahul gandhi factor always spoke about against the prime minister earlier and did not work this time round he is using the manipur issue which is going to be the focus of his bharat joro yatra 2.0 but also the campaigns not just in the state elections but more so in the lok sabha elections there are many reasons why the congress party and rahul gandhi thinks it could work behind these closed doors at the congress headquarters where i'm standing right now rahul gandhi has made it very clear to his party that this should be our focus area why because one it pricks holes into many claims of the bjp according to rahul gandhi one is that bjp alone can ensure that there is law and order in the country sabka saath sabka vikas an inclusive campaign which has been pushed forward by the bjp can be punctured by the manipur issue is what rahul gandhi told one of his closest colleagues in the party When you talk about the BJP being the only one which can claim to ensure national security and nationalism the Congress party puts the Manipur card in front of them and ask that what is it that was happening in this state why is it that you were completely unaware of the fact that metis and cookies were clashing with each other that there were a large number of people who've hit the streets the economic life has come to a standstill and more than that that viral video which timing you may question but the fact remains is wasn't it an intelligent failure you're sticking on to birin singh as the chief minister of manipur why is it that the bjp doesn't want to hold its leaders accountable and therefore why should the prime minister any longer be seen as a leader who can ensure that law and order remains where the rights of a women or the minorities can actually be protected and therefore rahul gandhi certainly think as the congress party that like the rafal this can also be the big moment or the electoral calling card for 2024 but then i want to place the other point of view why i think it may not really be so because one is the fact that the entire india front opposition party is walked out on a manipur issue is going to be relentlessly used by the bjp and the prime minister to make the point that they were demanding that i come to the house and confront them well i did but they did not want to discuss the manipur issue because they were not inside the house when i was talking about manipur the fact remains that many within the congress party actually accept the fact that maybe it was a tactical mistake by walking out of the parliament or the lok sabha when this final discussion or the statement by the prime minister was coming in if the prime minister was listened to we could have put forward a counter narrative in fact gaurav gogoi as a mover of the no conference motion did have the right to come out with an answer or a counter statement to the prime minister statement but that was a missed opportunity whatever you say outside the parliament after that whether it was outside the parliament house whether it was inside the congress headquarters cannot match up to the what was being said inside the lok sabha by the prime minister so many within the congress party thinks it was a missed opportunity second 
in Manipur, the BJP is trying to shift the blame on the Congress party. Their challenge remains is to how they can actually convince their voters and their constituents that it's the Congress party and its legacy which is to blame for the state of affairs, not just in Manipur, but in the Northeast region. Insurgency, lack of development, lack of infrastructure development. Now remember in Kashmir, what is the narrative which has been pushed forward by the BJP after a revocation of Article 370? That the reason why the youth took to stone pelting was because they did not have a job. And it is we who have brought that development, which is why now stone pelting has dropped because people are preoccupied, they have job opportunities. You may argue and counter argue with that, but here's the narrative which is being pushed forward by the BJP and certainly one which they are going to do in the case of Northeast. And third, of course, is the most important factor is the Prime Minister's own push. I don't want to politicize this entire issue. You may keep on talking about the fact that I remain silent, but the day I decided to break the silence, you were not even there. What is it that I think? More importantly, is what is it that you think? Do give in your reactions on the social media timeline. We'll have a quiz at some point of time. But what is it that I think? Well, I understand that situation in Manipur is distressing. There's much to be worried about and concerned about. But whether it's going to be a winning formula for the Congress party and for the India front, well, I have my doubts about that. I think what is more required is a positive alternative. What is it that you're offering the voters? We have to wait and watch to see the common minimum program, but it certainly has to move beyond the Manipur issue. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, as always, give in your reactions.